Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited for this video because this is an interesting topic that I think, you know, not a lot of people know about because it was something that I learned about recently. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is really just teaching you guys what I have learned and I'm going to be going straight to the source that I've learned it from. And I'm also going to include some Bible scriptures to, um, you know help motivate you guys as well so before i even jump into this video i'm going to pray father i come before you today in the name of your son jesus christ i cover myself and my home and everyone else that is watching this video in the blood of jesus and i decree and declare that no weapon that is formed against any of us will prosper i cancel every demonic assignment that my enemies have placed over my life right now in Jesus name and I cancel every demonic assignment placed on anybody that is watching this video in Jesus name I take full authority over every demonic strong man right now in Jesus name and I decree and declare that the plans and the will for the father that the father has for my life and everyone else's life watching this video will be made manifest in our life with no demonic interference or delay in Jesus Christ's mighty name I pray amen and I also cover myself in the armor of God. I put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness. I have my feet fitted with the gospel of peace. I put on the shield of faith. I take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so, so I think I'm going to start off with talking about dreams for this because something that I noticed is that our dreams really reveal so much to us when we are dreaming it's not that we are actually like in this foreign place like our spirit never needs any rest but our physical bodies do so whenever we are dreaming we are actually roaming around in the realm of the spirit and we are actually going through real things that are affecting our life here on earth so it's so important for us to also be aware of um what is going on in our dreams and that we're not just brushing them off as if it's nothing it's important to pray against it and renounce every demonic dream in the name of jesus you know so an important scripture that i think is really great to mention for this is matthew 15 no matthew 13 25 it says but while men slept his enemies came and sowed tares among the weeds and went his way and i also recommend that you guys read the entire chapter just so that you could get like the background and a full understanding of how it also correlates to our dreams so demonic entities enter our dreams through portals and stuff so that they can plant things in our dreams so that once it's revealed to us in the realm of the spirit in our dream it could then be made manifest in our everyday life when we are awake so that's why it's also important to cancel every demonic dream that you have and even if you don't remember your dream cancel everything of your dream that may have been from the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. Also call upon the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy everything that may have been planted in my dream that was not of the Father. So you could also use um, the scripture of Matthew 15, 13 to, you know, command every unclean thing to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. So uh, a dream that really relates to this is having dreams about being back at your old school, being back at like your family's house, being um, like any dreams that are like related to stagnancy, delay, those, that's how you know that your past has been arrested. I'm just also going to refer to this article, which is from Mountain, so the website is mountainoffire.org. And the article is called the word arresting the arresters so I'm just gonna jump right into it and they also do provide scriptures as well to back it up just so that you guys are able to also meditate on the word and bring it back to the father and ask him like how it relates to your current situation so when efforts are made to arrest you it simply shows that there is something of value in you that is being envied or that is being hated by the kingdom of darkness. So an arrest is a negative experience that not only embarrasses the victim, 
but also places complete embargo on several departments of life. Of all arrests, spiritual arrests are the most deadly, dangerous, and devastating experience. Oftentimes, the purpose behind an arrest is to subject the victim to pain, torture, ridicule, embarrassment, suffering that will last for a very long time. It is possible to be arrested by law enforcement agents or captured by people with terrible agendas. So like if you notice in your dreams as well, another thing, it could be like you're always running from somebody. You know, if you are always running from somebody in your dreams, that is not a good thing. And also, we should be the ones chasing after these demons in our dream, commanding them to stop in the name of Jesus. So it's definitely going to take a lot of warfare and warring in the spirit to like turn that around so that you're no longer the one being chased. At such times, the arrested person will be hindered, limited, held, and placed in confinement. So also another way that you know you've been arrested is if you see yourself in jail, you see yourself in handcuffs in the dream. Ordinarily, arrest is embarrassing and it is capable of bringing a halt to the plans and purposes and freedom to pursue life goals and also another way that you know that you know your enemies are after you too is because you could have a dream about being naked being naked being exposed in that kind of way it means that your enemies are actually trying to bring you to a place of shame and embarrassment so um that's also something to look out for. Also, if you see yourself naked in a cage, that means that they have locked you up somewhere in the realm of the spirit. And if you see yourself, even like if you see yourself showering in front of people, that also means they're trying to bring shame and disgrace upon your life. However, when an arrest is planned and factored in the spiritual realm, it could be highly debilitating on your life. Unfortunately, a lot of people today are victims of all types of ugly arrests. The devil knows that God has wonderful agendas for a lot of people. Therefore, to frustrate this agenda, Satan and his hosts continue to throw spanner in the wheels by making use of wicked instruments of arrest. The devil will go to any lengths to carry out the agenda of wicked arrests. And honestly, if you guys are watching this, <coughs> If you're at this point in this video right now and you're watching and you're getting like nervous and you're like oh my gosh I don't know what to do definitely don't worry because by the end I'm gonna they're gonna have prayer points at the end of this article so I'm gonna link this article as well so if you guys want to read along with me you can but there's also gonna be prayer points for you to read along so that you could fight back and really war in the spirit to maintain your position your heavenly position God has seated us in heavenly places we do not have to be subject to any type of demonic oppression we truly have more power over them it's just about us knowing that power and standing in it so costly ignorance to be arrested is bad enough to be ignorant of such arrests is even worse many are not only arrested but a lot of people are wasting away in satanic confinement without knowing why the greatest tragedy of the human race is that those who are arrested are kept in rotten and uncomfortable jails. They are made to go through unbearable pain, agony, shame, and sufferings that, that are terrible, wicked, and inhumane. It is strange that many know that they have been arrested and thrown into fortified spiritual prisons Several people have been arrested and thrown into ancient, ancient prisons. Unfortunately, such people have given up completely. Such victims of satanic arrest are described in the scripture as captives of the terrible. And honestly, like when you look throughout the Bible in the stories, you'll also notice that a lot of the people who actually reached their promised land and, you know, maintained their possessions or possessed their possessions, they had to fight 
spiritual giants in their life in order to reach that place there is not that like warfare is a real thing like we cannot just simply just sit back and say well what's for me is for me you know god is protecting me because god is protecting you but you also have to know how to fight in the spirit so that you can have those things that he truly desires for you that's why he's he has given us like power and authority over our enemies so that we are able to fight back as well and um also think about the story of david and goliath in hebrews i believe it's hebrews 11 no hebrews 17 or is it matthew 17 i don't remember Okay, so it's 1 Samuel 17, the, the David and Goliath story. If you guys need to like brush up on your memory on that, I definitely recommend to, you know, read that scripture again just so that you can really understand the true power that you have. David was able to kill Goliath with literally a rock and he didn't have to do much. And that's the kind of power and authority that God has given us over our enemies, even when we are scared, even when we aren't sure what to do. As long as we are making efforts, God is always going to show up and make sure that we receive the benefit and we come out on top in the end. So a scripture that they mention here is Isaiah 49:25. But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. So good news. However, however, the good news is that when such people come face to face with the power of God that is able to save them, they will be delivered. A person needs not to remain a victim to satanic arrest forever. A believer needs to declare boldly to the enemy that his freedom is non-negotiable. You must not allow the wicked powers to succeed in their agenda of ugly arrest. You must deal with every arresting power and pray until you are completely set free. An arrest is an ugly experience. Unfortunately, the devil doesn't carry out the agenda of arrest secretly. And that's something that you'll notice like you'll notice in order for things to be made manifest the devil has to reveal it to us that's why we dream about certain things and that's why when we dream about them we have to cancel them when, whenever he wants to arrest he will summon everyone so that they can witness your open disgrace if the devil has decided to work tirelessly in order to achieve his agenda of openly arresting you in his coven of wickedness you too must leave no stone unturned until the entire plan of wicked forces are rendered null and void and honestly too like um something that i have been noticing is that like when going through spiritual warfare my dreams get even crazier like i see the craziest things in my dreams and you know the resistance that you see in the fights and the battles that you see when you are sleeping those things are real so how to counter satanic arrest? The agenda of satanic arrest can only prosper when God's children fold their hands and do nothing. As a child of God, freedom and, dom freedom and dominion are your birthright. No matter how wicked the plans of the enemy are, you can rise up as a warrior and begin to dismantle all satanic roadblocks erected in order to turn your life upside down through their mysterious arrest so another way that you know like your enemies are after you in some kind of way like let's say you have a dream about missing a plane missing a train missing a bus or something that shows that the enemy is trying to divert your future and your destiny to go opposite of what god wants it to be satan's full-time job is to arrest and stop god's wonderful agenda for man's progress success and breakthroughs the moment a child of God is able to eliminate sat satanic arrest, he will achieve divine goals for his destiny with uncommon ease. You must be ready to deal with every form of satanic arrest and free yourself from all types of encumbrances fashioned by terrible arresters and wicked agendas of darkness. Evil arrests must Stop. enough is enough of what the enemy has done in your life and destiny the problem of arrested spiritual growth stunted achievements destiny derailment mental arrest physical embarrassment and shame episodes of sudden captivity which the enemies of your soul have put place shall be dealt with they must be dealt with 
evil arrests must stop you must go ahead and begin to demonstrate uncommon dominion that is distinctive and unparalleled at the point where you begin to arrest the arrester and lead captivity captive so ephesians 4 8 says wherefore he saith when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men this is one of the deepest secrets in the spiritual warfare god is not glorified when his children are busy running helter skelter and panicking at the pursuit of uh, at the pursuit of elemental forces of darkness when in the words of psalmist your hands are taught to war and your fingers to fight you must not be a victim of satanic arrest psalm 1834 says he teaches my hands war to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Psalm 144, 1. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. End time warriors. When you become a warrior, you must begin to chase and arrest. You must begin to chase and arrest powers that are chasing you. It is never the will of God for his children to be arrested. God's perfect will for his beloved sons and daughters who are part of the end time army is to begin to terrorize powers that are terrorizing them. One of the secrets of victory in spiritual warfare is this, to score cheap victory over the devil in order to do this. You must learn the art of pursuing your pursuers, opposing your opposers, and tormenting your tormentors. Jesus has scored the greatest victory of all times over every power of the wicked children of god who are living at such a time as this need to demonstrate the victory that jesus won on calvary by the singular act of jesus's victory on the cross there is no power anywhere that should terrify you as a child of god the bible makes it very clear that jesus has defe defeated principalities and powers and made an open show of them if this open declaration of victory was made possible by the Lord, no true children of God can afford to be disgraced through any form of ugly arrest. Ephesians 1, 20 through 22, which he wrought in Christ, when he raised them up from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principalities, powers, and mighty and might and dominion in every name that is named not only in this world but also in which is to come and hath put things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church so that was basically like the the main thing that they were talking about in the article that I was reading. And I also, I thought that this was the, the article that had the prayer points at the end of the, um, at the end of the article, but I did write some down as well. So I definitely can just share those with you guys. So one of the prayers could be, Lord Jesus, I call upon your fiery hand to destroy all of my enemies that have put an embargo on my past to affect my future. Fire of the Holy Ghost, destroy all of my enemies who have arrested my past and future in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, destroy every evil hand that wants to stop me from living my God-given destiny. I arrest the arresters of my past with chains so large they cannot move. You could also say, I paralyze every demon of my past that is affecting my future and I destroy them with the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I free myself from edgy, edgy, I free myself from every cage of my past that my enemies have placed me in, in Jesus' name. I send confusion to the camps of my enemies of my past in the name of Jesus. Every arrow that they have shot into my life, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, it is destroyed. I want to find that article that I, I want to find those prayer points that I had. I want to find those prayer points because those prayer points actually were um, really good. Let me see if I can find them. Okay, I was looking for a while. I cannot find the article that had the prayer points against the satanic embargo. But if I do find it by the time I 
make this video live on my channel then i'll definitely include it but so that was basically everything that i wanted to mention in today's video i hope that you guys learned something from this video and it is really our time to rise up and take back what is ours because god literally has blessings for his people that our enemies that these demonic entities are occupying and holding from us so we really have to learn how to fight in the spirit so that we could receive every good thing that the father has for us so um thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below for more videos i'll definitely see you guys in another video very soon thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video